This is an extract from the Leader Coronavirus Daily podcast by The Evening Standard and hosted by me, David Marsland. To hear the whole thing, search for it on your podcast provider. Could Boris Johnson's premiership really be in trouble? It hardly seems likely with an 80-seat majority, but strain may be showing. Within his party, he's being accused of ruling by fiat with his lockdown measures. Some Tory MPs are concerned regulations like the 10pm curfew on pubs are being imposed without Parliament getting a look at them. Meanwhile, an evening standard Ipsos Mori poll suggests the public is asking questions. Just 32% think Boris Johnson's good in a crisis. But they do seem to like the look of Rishi Sunak. He's at 54%. Our political editor Joe Murphy is with me now. Joe, let's start with this apparent Tory rebellion over lockdown. What's going on there? Actually, this is a rebellion with quite a few causes being mixed in with it. So you have uh, a number of parliamentarians, um, including Harriet Harman, the former Labour deputy leader and leader of the House, who are simply... Uh, demanding that Parliament have more say when measures to crack down on coronavirus are unveiled. So the Prime Minister announces a curfew and it comes into force two days later without a proper vote of the House, without MPs having a chance to amend it. Um, And they feel sore that these things are happening all the time and that they want to have their say and have their vote and make changes where necessary. There's another strand to this rebellion, though, too, which is particularly on the Tory side um, and the right wing of the Tory party, who feel that too many measures that squeeze individual freedom, and for some of them it's the economy more than freedom that matters, um, are being rushed out through Parliament and not enough is being done to consider whether that's the right political balance about keeping the country going for livelihoods or keeping the health service going for lives. So is this because these MPs believe the Prime Minister is wrong in his decisions, or is this making a point of principle that they should be discussed, whether they would agree with it or not? I think the latter, David, I've got quite certain that when the Prime Minister's measures are put to a vote, they will fly through with a huge majority, not least because Sir Keir Starmer said on Tuesday that the Labour Party supported them in principle. So they may pick out bits here and there where the the Parliament wants changes, but the vast majority have cross-party backing and sail through the House with a bigger majority even than the 80 the Prime Minister had at the general election. But it is interesting that members of Boris Johnson's own party should be coming out and publicly saying this against their leader and the Prime Minister. And at the same time, the Evening Standard has done a poll showing that the public is perhaps starting to doubt Boris Johnson's leadership capabilities. I think the public have always had very mixed views about Boris Johnson. They've always seen that he is somebody, in relation to Brexit, who gets things done. But they've never been under any illusion that he's necessarily the best master of detail. And as you say, as things have gone on during coronavirus, the problems with Boris Johnson's handling of detail have taken on a bigger perspective in the minds of MPs, including Tory MPs, some of whom, for different reasons, think he's gone too far or not far enough, and some of whom just want a bit more consistency and good judgment brought to the government's policies. And according to that Ipsos Mori poll that we've done, people are starting to look at Rishi Sunak and appear to be quite impressed with how he's handling things. To be fair, if you're a chancellor, you are going to be quite popular if you're giving out lots of money. That is very true. And of course, somebody, some chancellor, is going to have to try and balance the books at some point in the future. But right now, Rishi Sunak, considering the economic optimism scale is really, really negative, he's doing very well. He's got the best ratings of any chancellor since 1978. And uh, if you cast your mind back, you might remember that Dennis Healy was the very popular chancellor in those days. Uh, He's also got a huge rating among Labour voters. Labour supporters, 59% of them think that Rishi Sunak is doing a good job, which is quite amazing 
under the circumstances especially. But here's the thing, David, that I think will be weighing on quite a few minds, which is Ipsos Mori asked, who out of these three guys, Johnson, Sunak and Starmer, do you think have these, what they call leader image attributes? Um, are they good in a crisis? Do they have sound judgment? Are they more honest than most people? Do they have more substance and style? And all of these, we found that Rishi Sunak not only beats Boris Johnson, but he also beats Keir Starmer, who is, of course, the man the Tories have to take on at the 2024 general election. Now that, I think, will be a discussion point this weekend. Search for the leader coronavirus daily on any podcast provider to hear more from the podcast.